Hi guys, my name is Leah and I will be doing today some locks repair. I am using an African K, 100% human hair and this is in 8 inch and this is number 1. What I will be doing is I will be making my locks longer so you could watch what I am doing and you could subscribe to my page i will be posting it on instagram and youtube so you could watch what i am doing so this is the loose hair that i have and i will be repairing my locks with these needles so this is a crochet hook for crochet locks and i'm gonna make my locks a little bit longer so bear with me and watch how i do it and you could like and subscribe to my page so what i do i take the, this amount of loose hair and i put it with this lock i'm basically just fixing my locks and mending them together to make them because some of them are broken off and i just throw them off throw them away so i am now weaving basically crochet in these locks now to my hair and i will be posting it up on youtube so it's basically a do it yourself video that anyone could do at home you just have to be very careful with the needle because this is a really really small needle you know so you gotta be extremely careful and you just use small portions of the hair to weave the locks so if you notice I start with this one but once the locks is attached to the hair by going in in different directions then I will use the two sprang and you have sometimes the three sprang needles that you can actually use so this is what I am doing today I am adding a little bit more of the hair you don't want it to make it too thicker than the locks itself but you have to go in so it doesn't break off and you have to keep spinning the locks and go in to weave it around to make it stays and attach so this is like basically a locks extension and repair so now I put on that needle and I start with this two sprung needle and you have to hold the needle and you have to do the same thing around and around until you get it so all of my locks that are broken off and are shorter than the rest I will be doing this and if you notice the locks is, is coming together nicely so all you have to do is keep going around different motions and you had a little bit of hair so you don't you don't um it's not so it's not bigger so you take another little piece and you put it there and you weave it around and it just goes in like that and this is how you do it so yeah this is what I am doing if you like what I am doing click the notification bell below on my youtube channel and you could watch the rest of the video that I have uploaded and if you have any comments please find, feel free to ask a question like and share and subscribe to see my rest of videos I'll be doing a lot more videos and I am still going down a little bit more so I'm still adding if you notice I'm adding more here and I'm doing it and it is pretty much as easy and simple as that you could do it yourself and um, just to let you know about this type of hair it can be um, bleached it can be colored and it can be curl and it can be dyed and it's easily treatable so it's not going to break or anything like that so what you're seeing here is me going back and forth to even out what I have started so you could 
see exactly what I am doing and just use this as a guide so if you notice the hair coming down you notice the hair and it's not finished as yet so what I'm doing now is pretty much very straightforward and simple and easy and you keep turning the hair around to get it nicely done see it's nicely done and you could see right here where I've attached it it's a little bit bigger than the rest so you keep using the needle to go in to get it in as much as possible and you do it like that and we are coming to the point where I'm gonna put some more hair there to, to make sure it's filled and I'm gonna do the same thing coming down and take my time and you turn the hair around keep spinning the hair and spinning the lock and this is pretty much what you call instant locks or crochet locks I've been doing locks for a, a number of years and I find that this is pretty much self-taught so I am doing this to show you that you can if you really don't understand it good enough you will you might not know the tension that you need to do so I'm actually finishing it off now so with the tip I, I sh bring it upwards so you could make it looks really nice and looking like a farm locks without any trashy at the ends and then you go back to it and you keep going up to make everything nice and smooth and very comfortable so if you see any form of thinning in it you could take pieces of um, hair loose hair and you could add it into it and then you will have a nicely proper form locks so I'm just uh, sitting in my bedroom and doing this I am not at work today so I just figured that I need to fix my lock so this is what I am doing so if you like it let me know I also could make them separately and attach them and in the next video I am going to do one and make it and attach it and let you see so you'll know that you could do it yourself you could ask someone professionally to get it done because these needles are very sharp edges and they will stick you and they're very dangerous so you have to be very careful when you're doing it and pay very much attention to what you're doing so hence i sit by myself and decided let me show you guys what you can do for yourself and there you have it see it's nicely done what I do now I go back over with the smaller needle and I go through it just to, and you have to be very careful with this one just to make sure that it doesn't thing and you make the locks nice and tight in terms of all the loose hair around it it's gone in and it doesn't really need to trim off anything you just lock it all the way in so that's what i am doing so yes you guys you will see it takes me almost should be able to take one depends on how long you're doing doing it and you could pull on the hair and you see it's not pulling or anything like that and it's nicely done and if you feel like you need to go in some more at the beginning of what you start you can very well do that and you take your time and you go in and this is what you get this is the end result so this is the end result and you get your lock repair and it's nicely done so this is one and then afterwards when I'm finished I'll be twisting in the loose hair around the locks and this is it yep pretty much this is it so this is what you have as the finished product and if you see this little piece right here you so, some people clip it off but I just tend to go in with the needle and I just 
bring it up in so like su subscribe click the notification bell follow Leah's locks here we go on Instagram on Leah Foster and Facebook Leah's locks and Facebook Leah's locks dot here we go and Instagram Leah's locks and YouTube we're located in Anguilla so yeah this is it thank you for watching